Okay, today we're doing section 3.6. Shouldn't take us too terribly long. So I have two examples written up here already. I want you, because I think you already know how to do this, to go ahead and pause the tape and let's see what you get when you try these two. One's really easy, one's a little more challenging. I have faith that you can do them both. It's pretty swift. That's a lot of faith. Okay, so pause the tape and give it a shot and let's see what happens. Make sure you do it in pencil so you can X through it if you get it wrong. Okay, let's see how you did. They will give you the formula when they're asking you to do this, so don't worry about having to memorize formulas for these. So they started with A equals P plus PRT. And they're going to ask you for A when P is equal to 800. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill in what they told me. So this P must be 800 plus this P is the same thing, 800 times my R is 0.04 and my T is 1 fourth. Since you're going to be sticking it in a calculator, because I recommend you stick it in a calculator, I would go ahead and change the, point, the 1 fourth to 0 0.25 because I know you know that too. So we have the 800 and then 800 times 0.4 times 1 fourth or 0.25 gives you 80. So A is equal to 880. The second one was much more challenging. This time they, they gave you the formula. That was nice of them. Didn't make you memorize it. This time they told you what P was. They didn't tell you what L was. They did tell you what W was. And remember, if there's nothing in between them, it's multiplication. So on this side, I get my 17.6. I still have my 2L, which is just like a 2X, plus 2 times 3.3 is 6.6. .6. I'm trying to get L by itself, because L is what we're looking for. So I'm going to subtract 6.6 .6 from both sides and get 11 is equal to 2L and then I still need to get the 2 away so I can divide both sides by L and mean by 2 and get that 5.5 is equal to L. Now I know what you're saying. I really do because I know you. You're saying the 5.5 and the L are on the wrong side. You're supposed to have your letter on the left hand side and your number on the right hand side and that's all true. I'm not discounting that, but that's the correct answer. If I wanted to take that extra step to move stuff around, I could have gone from 11 equals 2L and subtract 2L from both sides. And that would have given me negative 2L plus 11 is equal to 0. Because when you take 2L and you subtract 2L, you still have 0 over there. It doesn't go away. Move my negative 11 over. So I get negative 2L equals negative 11. And divide both sides by negative 2. And you still end up with L is equal to 5.5. Although I'm not sure that you can see that because that's really close to the bottom. But it is. It's down there. L equals 5.5. Um, <coughs> so, we're good with that. We can handle that. It's not too difficult. Everybody's fine. Nobody's crying. There's one more problem I want to look at. Okay. 
this one says using the distance formula which is D is equal to RT find T if D equals 15 and R equals 5. This should be a capital D, sorry. Just because that one down there is capitalized. So we start with what they told us. D equals RT. I fill in what they told us for values. So 15 is equal to 5 times t, or 5t, and now I've got to get the t by itself. So what do I need to do? Divide by 5, and we get that t is equal to 3. Technically 3 hours if we're talking about miles per hour, but they didn't give us any units, so we're just putting stuff in. That's pretty much it for this section. It's just plugging stuff into formulas, which I know you know how to do. We started that in chapter one, so I know you're pretty good with this. You might have to do some, you might, and I stress the word might, because I don't know that it's actually in there. I think I put it in there because I thought it needed to be in there. So you might have to do some where you have to solve it actually out. You're not just evaluating and figuring out what it is. Um, but I don't know that you do, but I wanted you to get some practice at solving because I don't want you to forget any of those solving tips that we've got going on. So today there is no classwork because I know you know how to do it already, but there is homework. Numbers 1 through 11 odd on the practice exercises for section 3.6 and today was kind of light even though we did two sections but I think tomorrow is going to be even lighter what we really have to worry about is making sure you're good and reviewed for that test that's coming up I hope you did good on the quiz I will see you tomorrow